Ronan Dunn, Ireland expects. Oliver Zwar, Amory Pierron, Greg Minar, Thibaut de Prella, Troy Brosnan, Danny Hart, uh, Dylan Levesque, uh, who's who of Thierry fast oh. elite downhill oh, riders. It's, it's so never many into. names. Any one of those can win today. <laughs> oh, we've, got, we've got to keep calm throughout, Cedric. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> it's, it, it's so many. In, wow. And if everyone uh, is looking fast in practice, it's really hard to tell who is faster than anyone else. You know? But at the moment, when you're here in the game, you, oh, you're stressing, you want to do good, it's your first round of the year. It's a lot in your head, a lot. It's a lot. A lot more than an everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Racing's life or death, everything else is just waiting. No win so far, no win, that's important. But that's what you we want to see. Yeah, but win sometimes is good when I see that big, those big clouds coming in. <laughs> yeah, there are some dark clouds just beginning to bubble up. And here we go then, it's time to go racing for the UCI Mountain Bike Downhill Elite Men's World Cup in 2023. Inside line here, well, that's the first time we see that, in the grass. Already, oh, he's looking composed on one of the hardest lines. That line is so off camber, so hard to take that upper line. It's dry today, but still, you need, you need a lot of speed. So in the men's semis, we are going to cut 60 riders down to just 30 who are going to go through to the final. It's already rolling so fast inside line here. Oh, look at the bike. Sets the bike up square, like Ah, uh, You see the way he's not even finishing his corner to use the suspension to just go to the next corner. We're going to see a lot of that today. Oh, he's, he's full in, pedaling everywhere. Tacking to try to get as much speed as he can without pedaling. Pedaling in the hair, hair a, a little bit as like a Sam Blankenship signature. <laughs> that wood section is off camber as well. It's really hard in a lot of routes. Yeah, a carpet of routes lining this track here in the Bike Kingdom, Lenzer Heide. Yeah, that's that. Oh, oh yeah. that's nicely done. Yeah, such a good looking rider, like in terms of style. Guyane into the steep section now. Carnage through here in the junior race yesterday. Sideline here. Threads a needle between the two Shimano pads. We actually walked the track during practice the other day, and about 10 riders in a row just tapped each of those pads on the way oh, through. Barely made that one. He was coming so fast. But like I say, from day one of practice, a lot of dirt is missing between roots. It's, yeah. all, it's all at the bottom. It's they all at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> they, they carry right to the tires all the way down. But the track in really good shape, Cedric, yes. compared to with the likes of we go to Val de Sole in Italy, yeah. where I don't think oh, there's yeah. any dirt left in that region. No. Maybe they should put some concrete in there. <laughs> yeah, well, this track holding up well. We had to say we had a bit of uh, a bit of moisture, a bit of rain, bit of precipitation earlier in the weekend. And, and like we talked earlier, you know, it's a mix of a bike park, mix of natural stuff, you know? You need to have a, a technical baggage, like, really, um, for every part of that track. Yep, absolutely. You have to be good everywhere. Well, be careful those corners, you know, those flat corners when you're coming in that speed, it's hard. You want to pedal quick, really early, but be careful to don't lose the grip. There we go, he's done. He's done, and our first rider down for the day in the Elite Men semi final in Guinea. Well, I'm oh, oh, bottom oh. out twice in a row, bottom out. Oh. Soft fork here. Oh, just too fast and hit the front brake at the wrong moment. Oh, oh. oh. there we go. Down. The show and stopped. that is where that oh, precision. Oh, sinks the pad. It sinks the pad. I hope he's okay. Any lack of it. He's riding again, though. Back on the bike. Those guys are tough. The, Colum the Colombian Fernando Juan Munoz. Remember, all those Colombians, when they stop to uh, open the gas, it's no way back. They're it's no it's all in. <laughs> it's no halfway. All in. Colombian riders always just absolutely full chat when it comes to these World Cup races. Oh, I think he had enough now. Hey, but that's the way you have to ride today in the World Cup. You're here, you're far from home, you want, you want to shine, you want to be this new guy, and that's what it takes. And they've been training so hard this winter, then they're, they're tough. You should see how many times they hit the gym. Yeah, all those hours in the gym, on the road bike, training, waiting for this day. 
the first finals run of a new UCI World Cup season and just a little bit too much pepper. That's basically the change on the old days, you know? We wasn't hitting the gym so much. We should have to. Can you finally admit that now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I see those guys training at home in Andorra, I understand why I was not maybe on the podium sometimes. <laughs> Are you, you, you? Oh, oh, there we go. Thank Seriously, you. Like hander. A beautiful no hander. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> I could have done that, but it wouldn't have been intentional. <laughs> Bail Erlingson then, nice. South Africa. Right sideline looked good. Did look like it worked, yeah. didn't it? Like soft and nice grass still. It looks like oh. that. Oh. Oh, he went down. Oh. Yeah, he went down. Yeah, he's dirty like he's on the left. Down. That's why I like people ride white clothes. We see right away if they yeah. went down. Yeah, Erlingson actually uh, was throwing a few backflips in uh, uh -huh. practice. Maybe you should do one now. Well, just saying. Yeah, just could happen at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's maybe had one backflip too many today <laughs> by the look of those trousers, but as he comes down over the line. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sweating already. <laughs> right, listen, everyone, Cedric and I are under a brief to keep things calm early on in the run of the day, and with riders doing stuff like that, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Keep calm, it's impossible when you see the show. Adam Rocek then on track, and we can all just be happy that Erlingson has survived that. He nearly missed the bars on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was looking for the bar on the right side. <laughs> you know when you're like, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Rocek then, cross the line into the new look hot seat. Hey, pretty much in touch. Sam Blenkinsop then, one of the crowd favourites, one of the journeymen. No gloves on. Of downhill mountain bike racing, signature gloveless look. Oh. I think he may have been off as well. Yeah, but look at the, and the way he's working his bike. He's not a passenger, he's just like using everything. You know, his arms, his legs, like... Oh. Looking ahead, really important, like you're able to do lines like that. And you see, he pushed the bike with his legs on the yeah. front, like they've been skiing to get the bike up to speed without pedaling. What a UCI World Cup back in Schladming 2008, and a rider who is very much in my internal folder of, if I could ride a bike like anybody, Sam Blenkinsop would be in that folder. He's just great to watch, so technical, so much time. Oh, look at that whip. You see that guy yeah. riding, you want to take your bike and go shred. Effortless, he's got time oh, everywhere. Off the drop, cancer time. over, why not? That guy is... 13 seconds back for Blankensop, shakes the head, but... Listen, he enjoys every run, no matter what's every happened. Run. You see him riding, it's... Jamie Edmondson then from Scotland. Different line here, he's going to the main line. Cranking hard outside those corners to... Get back to speed. Yep, Edmondson. And it's working. On that new privateer setup he's built for himself this off-season chili. All green since the split two. Yeah, going well. Two seconds to the good. Yeah. yeah, lost a little bit on the split four, but definitely on it. Big, big guy, Jimmy Edmondson. 54 kilometers an hour down here. I saw him in the shop the other night buying a pint of milk and he wasn't going that fast then. <laughs> Jamie Edmondson down to the line and sets the new hot seat it's time. So Two good. seconds ahead of Roger. Yeah. Those crank are important after those corners, you know. Yeah. Uh, right gearing, two crank hard. It's that, it's that little right-hander after the big left over the drop into the final where you can still lose a run. Yeah, you can still lose a run. But those wood section at the top, you have to make sure you make those nicely. Especially this area. Valentin Chatonet then for okay. France. Two seconds off on split three. Losing more and more. If you're new to downhill mountain bike racing, France really the nation in the driving seat at the minute. Luckily for us, I'm sat beside a Frenchman. Cedric, why is that? Why is that? Maybe the water or the wine. <laughs> Something is happening in France lately. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Very French, very French. Maybe the baguette. Maybe. Baguette. The French here in big numbers again. Oh. Chatonet. All the way, pedaling oh. all to the finish. Sitting deep here at the last jump. Two seconds off. <laughs> Lachlan Stevens, McNabb then up in the elites for the first time. A big win 
for his teammate in the juniors, Hauser, last night. What a run. It would be 11 in elites. That's fast. That is fast. Super nice kid, too, I seen yesterday. So first, happy. First couldn't World Cup. Yeah, but couldn't believe he won. I'm <laughs> like, you better believe next week you could do it again. <laughs> you, start, you better start oh. believing whenever people start asking you for numbers. Yeah. yeah it's been number four, two seconds faster than anyone else so Here far. Here we go. Lachlan Stevens McNabb, the New Zealander. 54 kilometers an hour. Oh! I told you about that corner. Tags that you. apex marker. Wow, he, he saved it. Oh, Cedric, if only we'd mentioned that before he yeah. did that. If you're a little bit late on that corner, the other left goal is coming so quick, but if you're drifting, there's nothing you can do, really. Carmen Manoyo Bus gets in from Spain. A lot of Spanish people, too, coming in. Fast riders. And we're going to see a very, very fast one yeah. later on. Holding the pile all the way down, I hope, this time. Oh, what was it you said the other night, Maximum Gambas? Yeah, man, I hope he don't drop the calamar <laughs> and the Gambas from the paella for Suarez, because he can make it, he can, he yeah, have all. Well, Suarez Alonso coming up later on. On the mission, I tell you. Absolutely on a mission, so we'll have to wait to see him, but let's see how his compatriot Busquets is getting on. Yeah, he had some good run he's last year. Yeah, 1.9, he's, he, he's one of the contenders for the future for sure. From Catalonia. From Catalonia. 795 riders here. Represented a new UCI World Cup record across all formats. Lost a lot of time on the last yeah. split. It's a sport of mountain biking continues to grow. Taylor Vernon now from Wales on course. A big, big talent and another rider, so stylish. Oh, those back, uh, back wheel was so close to the to the bridge when he did that whip. Yep. Had a big crash earlier in the weekend, but doesn't seem to be slowing him down too much, Vernon. No, he hit that reset baton. Today, it's race day, it's game on. Massive, uh, massive career as a youngster in motocross behind him before he made the switch on to uh, downhill bikes, which I always think you can see, Cedric. Yeah, like the attitude, like elbow, elbows out. A little bit, uh, you see, it's a little bit uh, high. The front is really high, like monitor yeah. style. Different setup for some riders, you know. Some people like to be really close to the floor. <laughs> He's not. Taylor Vernon. 1.9 off. Off the drop. Vernon oh. down to the line then. One and a half seconds back. So lost time towards the bottom of it. Yeah. But but pedaling all the way to nods the finish ahead. Line. Taylor Vernon nods ahead. He's happy with that one. Leo Grisel then. Wow, I love the way they use that first corner and burning up out of the corner. I like that. Oh, oh. oh he's cranking so hard after the bridge. And it's fast already, and all of a sudden, the light shut down. Oh, 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 oh. Taking risk here, it's good. Try to bunny up some of the rocks. Oh, land here exactly where you don't want to land on those rocks. You have to land a little bit more left. One. Seconds yeah. on split three. We saw some riders being able to get some time at the bottom, you know. Grisel riding for Les Art, mountain bike team. I've actually. Oh, split four three. Something happened. Need to study some of the lines. Les Art, an absolutely stunning location for mountain biking if you ever get the chance. Down over the line in three seconds back for the Frenchman. Fifth for the moment. Yeah, nods ahead, happy enough. Racing behind. It's, good. it's going to be tight racing, even for semi finals. Seth Sherlock for intense factory racing. His teammate Aaron oh. Gwynn injured. Look at Sherlock go, actually. Yeah, Aaron Gwynn injured. Oh, different line oh, here different on the inside. We saw that inside. with the juniors as well. Interesting line. Yeah. They cut, they cut out a lot of terrain. And terrain, sometimes, you know, yeah. a straight line is faster, I Canadian, guess. that looked like it worked for him on that prototype intense race bike. Intense, one of those just history steep racing brands that just produce gorgeous bikes year in, year out. They've been changing a lot of geometry over the years, like a lot mm -hmm. lately. Jeff Staber, the, the owner still hands well, hand wells many of them himself. That's impressive, in the garage. In the garage, bit of music on. Yeah. Seth Sherlock down the line then. What is he going to stop the clock at? A 250.1. Six so far. Oh, hard those guys are cranking outside the gate. That first crank is important. Jack Redding, the world's fastest optician. Heading into the woods. 
the British rider. He's been around the scene for a good while now. Yeah, keeping to the right and hit the first rat. Was really Ken hard. Oh, oh, you can hear him, that him shout there. That yeah, was that was him. Good sound. Told us at the start of the weekend about how he was into this new format with the semis, but he said that the, the margins at the top of downhill racing are so fine now that he said you just you can't relax. Racing. Nope, no, 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 no. Relax is uh, no. You do that uh, on Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> right. Reading now down the line. Let's get him home. Yeah, fifth position, three off fifth position so far. Jack Redding just has a look back up the track. Tristan Botter and then the Dutchman spends a lot of his time in Scotland training in the Tweed Valley. I love the way, like, so many lines right away on the first corner. No one have the same line. It's not like one rider after each other take the same line. It's a funny track like that, isn't it? When a lot of it like this, fairly wide, not many options, and all of a sudden you're presented with four or five, and then they stop again, and it's yeah. back to the one. Yeah, and yesterday, totally different line when it was moist than, uh, like, wet on the ground. It means like the track is faster today and it's going to be faster and faster, I guess, but as well a lot more destroyed when you have so many riders coming down. Yeah, oh. downhill tracks, they take a beating over the course of a weekend and being able to adjust your racing lines and... And probably today, maybe some more compression when you have to stiff, maybe your suspension a little bit. The track is faster. Yeah. Definitely did some tweak there and there, suspension, rebounds. Will you want? Will you be wanting to make suspension changes that's close to a race? Sometimes just one click, just for your head, like say like, okay, I want to have it firm. I want to go fast. Yeah. I mean, a racing car is not comfortable, is it? Nope. When you no, do it's rally. definitely not. <laughs> Mark Wallace then, on oh. course. The Spartan. Such is his training regime, he's known locally. I always like to see him because he was like wow. some, so many years up there. 1.2, two um, seconds on the four split. On the Norco factory race in this season. Yes. For Wallace. Canadian as well have a, like so a full hand of good riders. We saw that in the juniors yesterday. So many fast young yes. Canadians making the trip yes. over to Switzerland for this round. They all want to be like Finn. Yeah, Finn and Mark. Mark. And of course the late great Stevie Smith. Yes. Long live Chainsaw. Third for the moment. Third for the moment for Wallace. David Palazzari now. The Italian in a, in a typically fast looking helmet. Yeah. Like the design on that one. Palazzari pedaling everywhere. Yes. Not resting. No. Nope. A little bit of tacking here to get the speed. Whoa, wow. that looks smooth. This that bike is fast. not making noise. No, Palazzari no noise on trucking. The bike. It's three off on the split three. And five on four is losing time. It was looking good on this wood section, though. Yeah, downhill, it's such a funny sport. Yes. Again, we saw it in juniors yesterday, and yeah. sometimes what looks fast to the eye doesn't yeah. actually add up to being fast on the clock. I remember in the old days, like one guy from Spain, Ivan Lego, when you see him yeah. riding, you're like, oh, he's the fastest in the world, but in the timing, sometimes it was not just this move. I think he was, was moving so much. Yeah. That's why. I think one of the big uh, the big proponents of that was Josh Bryson. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. He'd come in the shot and you would think, oh, he must have a puncture or something. Wow, beautiful him. double here. Just saving those big holes right in the start. Yeah, Rad Boy was he'd unique. Come on, he'd come in the shot and you'd think, oh, maybe he's lost a chain or he's got a puncture <laughs> or something. Then he'd be four and a half seconds faster. Yeah, exactly. Chilling. Like Gwyn, basically, one year without racing was a chain. Thomas is stack then. Oh, he's looking so good on the bike. Super three slimy. off, though, losing time here. Like, a lot of people are losing time for split three and four. Like, big gaps. Split like, three and four yeah. seems to be pivotal so yes. far. Is stack. Or is it because it is still slippery there? Or it's just like the line change? Or it's just destroyed? Or what it is? He lost a lot of time last season with injury. We made it back for uh, the enduro race. And yeah. In, VL. in a couple of years, we could see him, you know, like in Leo Gang, you know, in, um, in uh, yeah, Leo Gang having the best split in the, in the hardest yeah. technical section. He can do incredible things. Here's his teammate then.
Mateo Iniguez. Glad you pronounced that one. <laughs> Mateo Iniguez there on draw. You see that rock? That rock flying off the track. He's cleaning the track. Oh, hard gearing here, but managed to push those cranks. 2.6. We'll see on the. Oh, I lost time still, but no as much on the other guy, but still three off. Another comment, Sal. Uh, the brand founded by Max Comensal has really come to dominate modern downhill racing. So many teams using that frame, the Supreme now. He's at the bottom for sure, next to the podium, Max um, Comensal. Max never misses a race. <laughs> the Enzo Ferrari of mountain biking. <laughs> Nine positions so far for Matteo. Austin Dooley then, our first American rider of the day, Comensal Schwalbe. Saw Ryan Pinkerton go well in the juniors yesterday. Can his compatriot back things up? That's funny how a lot of people are tagging him. Eh? Tagging between those big jumps, you know, there's no point to pedal. Just try to breathe and recompose before that last section of the track, you know? We are at altitude here in Lenzerheide. There's not a lot of air knocking about. He did something great on split two and three, that's for sure. Yeah. But four again. Yeah. Something is happening between three and four that we don't know. I'll tell you what. People are losing time. Message Carlson, get him up there. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll send, I'll I'll send some messages. <laughs> what's, what's happening? Josh Carlson out on course for us. Hey, second spot. Here at the UCI Mountain Bike World Series. Loris Rivelli then for Canyon Collective Pirelli. Oh, we saw him in it last year. He's uh, fast. Good rider, Rivelli, isn't Very it? Very good. Spent some time on uh, the e bikes as well, racing the e enduro as well. Yeah, I guess you have to be able to do everything today, and everything will be good for your training. Certainly, if you're used to throwing an e bike around, the weight of a downhill bike doesn't yeah. feel like much oh, afterwards. Nice line here. It was yeah, really one. early. Land on that hole, but. I think it's really nice to try to carry speed over that berm. Oh, oh right out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumping straight into the corner. Took a took half a meter off the uh, the width for that corner. You see that corner was like double corner. Like he hit the corner once, straight by the bike again, and hit the corner again. Usually you try to make that corner in one piece, and it's really hard when the, the corner starts to be broken. Yeah. Like breaking bumps. 15 for... Five seconds off, eh? Rivelli looks back up the track. No, a bit of a shrug. Obviously felt faster to him, but they yes. all do, don't they? Phil Atwell now. One of the most unpredictable packages in downhill mountain bike racing. Nothing worse than having a great feeling on the bike and you pass the finish line and you look back, your time and you're off and you, that don't make you too happy. That's never happened to you though, has it? <laughs> Most of the time it happened. That's a problem. <laughs> 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 hey, at least I can laugh about it now. <laughs> it's taken you all this time yeah, to laugh about uh, it, but that's fine. 45 years. Phil Apple, one of the most skilled bike handlers in uh, the UCI world. That was a lot better than that corner. That was yeah. a corner I was stuck in. Trying to make that corner in one piece and not hit the brake. But that's easy to say from inside the boost. Atwell's in touch here. Ah. One of the big yeah, characters. Nice before. one, Phil. In the second for Phil. He, he feel like he's been on the circuit for a long time because you always see that kid like brilliant on the bike and super cool style. Now, this is an interesting race bike. The new prototype yep. pivot, the first time we're seeing it. How many chains do they have on? Oh, not as many as you used to have on your car, oh. <laughs> True. Yeah, the pivot, high pivot bike. Uh, it's a prototype bike. Bernard Kerr was giving me the guided tour of it the other day. They had to, uh, oh, love the inside yeah, line there. The inside line is uh, interesting. And here, you avoid that big hole on the right. They actually, had to, they actually had to uh, get a member of the team out to the factory to collect the frames because there's no way of getting them there quick enough. 90 hours of CNC wow. machining goes into each one of these Pivot frames. Chris Kakalis, the uh, owner of Pivot Bikes, is here this weekend to see how that new prototype machine does. That's so cool to see guys like this, you know, taking time and see the boys racing the bike. Yeah, you know? it's a massive, massive departure from the old bike, which has been around for a while, but... Absolutely no plans for it to go production yet. It is a tried and true for race only machine. Do it then, down safely to the line. Oh, really colorful. And I know that kid, Gian Garcin. 
unbelievable rider. Amber, just wait for it because he he can deliver. Maybe not today, but it's coming. You have to be patient. Like every oh, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, talk it is on the, the ground. The first of the season, then uh. the curse of the commentator strikes. Oh, the derailleur hanging down. Oh. Yeah, no. Now you see the the rear. The rear mech hanging off the back yeah. of the bike. The last thing you want is for that to go into the wheels. I follow that kids from the beginning. He was going to the races with mom with only one tire just to change for the race. No way. And didn't care. Awesome. Great attitude, great kid. And he wants it really bad. Down on mountain bike racing. So yes. dependent on its grassroots. Yeah. And those rocks sticking out and grabbing a derailleur. You know, sometimes just what happened. Frustrating for sure. But it looks split one and two, he was up there. He was right in touch. Yeah, no, the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to derail it in the back wheel, that. in the spokes before that jump, really. That's okay. maybe a wise move. Yeah, it'll be fun flip. That's a uh, mechanical sport, it happened. It does happen. Back on course here with another Frenchie. Yep, this man is one of the big talents of French mountain biking. Doesn't matter if it's an enduro bike or a downhill bike, Antoine Vidal sends it home. He can do it all, and it's uh, physically impressive. Look how hard he's cranking. Oh, Multiple under-21 enduro champ. Again, under the tutelage of Cecil and Cedric Ravenel. Yeah, and uh, sending it straight into the corner after the big table. For Commissar Lesor. Crosses the line. Vidal 1.6 off. Might be enough to be safe. Yeah, I hope so. We need more Frenchies in the final. <laughs> so we've got 60 riders in this semi final, and we will be breaking them down to just 30 for the elite finals. Big cut. It's a big cut. It's a big cut, but that's what it takes. It's a World Cup. And there are points on the table as well. Yeah. No time. No time for cruising. It's no cruising there today. I think it'll be exciting to see if our voices make the cut, never mind any of these guys. Antoine, 1.7 on split four, still managing, but... So, one of the flying Pierron brothers. Uh, the family is pretty quick, eh? Yeah, fast family. <laughs> yeah, if you want to race to the table for dinner, you better be quick. <laughs> Maybe that's how they did it. <laughs> yep. Armory, of course, the UCI uh, World Cup overall points holder. Coming up later on. Sixth place, 2.4 plus some time of a speed four. Cade oh. Edwards, there. great to see oh. this man back at the races. Concussed himself here last season. One of just the most talented, stylish bike handlers you will ever witness. Talent. And just a really nice down to our flat as well. He was telling me uh, the other day, Cedric, about the uh, the dark fest free ride comps. He goes out to ride with the big jumps. Yeah, they're not big. They're huge. Well, he <laughs> said that they're actually that big that the uh, the time of day actually affects how far you go because of the density of the air. So he's actually oh, adding yeah. science to uh, wow being 50 foot up in the air, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. Definitely not the run he wanted for sure. No, it's, been, it's eight seconds and now ten on split yeah, four. Drifted away from him somewhere, Edwards, yeah. from Huddersfield in the UK. Yeah, and something is happening on the split three and four. Like. 56 kilometers an hour. We might see something off the drop here from Keith. Yeah, just squashes it down. Super stylish as ever. Great to see him back at it for Trek Factory Racing. Former Junior World Champ, of course, Edwards. Here we go. Here we go, the, the Bulldog. The man and only, the Boo Boo Dog. Everyone knows him as the Bulldog, Brooke McDonald. Oh, just a piece of rock. That guy is so tough and so determined when he comes to racing. Yeah, the rocks move out of his way, that's for sure, the Kiwi and rider. 1.4 split four. Another man on a prototype race bike here. This uh, new Mondraker being developed by Jake Ireland from Sprung Suspension. That's why they have a like, little foam. I don't know what it is, like a wrap or whatever. Yeah, it is. it's a little wrap. The mechanics love it because they got to seal the whole pit up anytime they take it off. So. Yeah, <laughs> to clean the bike. Yeah. McDonald then down to the line. What's he got? A 248, just 1.5 back. Puts McDonald in the fifth. 1.5 off. That might work out for Brooke. Yep. Simon Chapelet then for Cube Factory Racing. 
Oh, oh, oh. he destroyed the corner. Uh, we saw dirt flying yeah. with a piece of grass, like a little bit like you're doing in golf when you hit the floor. Yeah, I've done that a few times as well. <laughs> the green is flying. Teammate of Danny Hart, of course, on that cube factory setup. And Max at the like you see that everyone is hitting that right corner, uh, right into the wood section when it's really dark. Everyone go right today. Why well, do you think the track's holding up from what we've seen so far, Cedric? Yes, yeah. Well, the bottom part, for sure, it's bike park style, but he's 1.3 off what you're looking at. I'm just looking out the window, just about to give you a bit of a weather report, and those black clouds do look like they have... Uh, and the wind, look at the wind on yeah, the left. Picked up, and I yeah. think it's just moved them away from the track, so hopefully... I mean, everyone loves a mud race, yeah. but we also... <laughs> the bigger thing is we like fair racing and dino. Everyone yeah. should have the same track. And now's a Mondraker rider. Hoto Ariki Pene then from New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand have uh, new roosters coming. Is on the girls and the junior girls? Yep. Oh, I like the way he's working on those uh, rolling section, trying to get the speed. People are changing line now. They're not opening so much anymore. Staying inside of that corner. Oh, he's attacking. He is attacking. 1.7 yeah. back, though. Uh, 2.5 now on split four. Again, three and four. That's where the race is basically happening today on the semi final. Oh, sending it straight to the corner. Nearly 55 kilometers an hour on the way down. That's, that's fast. Yeah. I love the way everyone is manualing and jumping out at the finish well, there's, line. Well, there's people there. You've yeah, got it's to. cool. <laughs> hey. Solid ride still. Make people happy. Make the crowd stoked. There you go, Benjamin Var then. Junior Center Factory Racing. The Junior Squad. One of the uh, the longer serving oh. teams in the pit. Interesting line here, like his back wheel was dancing, but managed to go through really good. He was in the green on uh, section two, means like uh, technical parts. Yeah, brother Oliver has signed the FMD in the offseason. 2.2 on the four, losing time, 2.3. Interesting to go and work maybe on those sections on the speed three and four. That's where it is time to gain. Four. Fast. Faster and faster. The swing with speed. 2.3 seconds back though. Yeah, ninth place. So there's, your, far. there's your top ten at the minute. Stevens McNabb still leads him. There's that new look hot seat. Let's have a look at some of the best action from today. Semi-final. Super upper line here. And oh, it's so just hard. to see him just tag that. Yeah, you know he can pedal and touch that little fence, no problem. Oh, Lachlan Stevens McDonald. Look at the jersey, you see the speed and manual pedaling. No problem. I but getting the that. bike back on the deck as quickly as possible to keep accelerating. Bang, bang. No time to spend in the air. I oh, really ran here. That's probably the key. I saw Bruni doing that as well. On the 68, Santa Cruz V10. Oh, he take the chance there. Oh, whoa, whoa. One of the most successful race chassis in the business. Yeah. And it certainly worked well today for the New Zealander. Okay, we are going to be able to check out the current results as they stand then. Oh, that picture with roots. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Blackland Stevens McNabb then leads the way from Phil Atwell, Austin Dooley, Simon Chapelet, and Taylor Vernon are your top five. Then it's McDonald, Vidal, Jack Reddings in 14th, a stack 16th. Like a bag of Frenchies, Leo Thomas and Matteo. Seth Sherlock in 19th. Blankensop down in 27. Tristan Bottom up in 21st. Five seconds in the year 23. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So we're, yeah, we've got 60 riders this afternoon. We're going to cut that down to 30. So the top 30 will go through to the final. That's a big cut, eh? Yeah, so you do want to be at the front of this one. Sandra. Exactly, you want to. And that guy, Mac Atherston, is like my teammate for helmets and uh, running new helmets from the Abus. So are you saying that you have given this man on screen now advice? Is yeah. that what you're saying? No, he gave me advice. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> And so interesting kid, and you know, being with Danny Hart, he learned so yeah. much. And uh, 
She put down to her kid and he wanted it and he's working for it and I hope it pay off for him, for Max. Looking good. Max and all oh, those Oh, I was really low. You see, it's Straight off wheel. the BMX track, that. Yeah. I was brilliant. Another you one see how dark it is there? Yeah, it's oh, darker than the inside of a cow. That was good on the split one. Pretty much in touch on split one. We how, know what's happening. How difficult is that contrast in light, oh, Cedric, for the racers? It's horrible. I used to close my eyes before I entered the woods. Really? Yeah, like for a second. But when I entered the woods, I didn't know where I was. <laughs> <laughs> It He's the on wrong, the green! It was the wrong woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that was my trick. Yeah, Hart and Stern. Oh, nice there. That was really, good. Really, really aiming the first tree and Wow. Oh, inside line here for Max. Cross the road gap. There's still a bit of time. I hope he managed split four good. Pretty much in touch for Max. Oh, cutting short everywhere, yeah. Max. That Q package still very much in development. It's got that big sort of uh, oh, anti-jack brake line. on by the back of it. Yeah, that inside line is tricky, but it is worth it maybe that today. Looks like it worked. He didn't seem like he had to square that one off as much. Yeah, here like he got. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. easy, Max. I one second and four. One point four lost on the split four. Yeah. That, that bogey split, that between three and four, where time seems to be tripping away from people. Maybe trees, trees are crossing the streets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. nice. So nice. Out of the corner, two hard crank, manual. Hartenstern crosses the line then, 1.6 back. And you Put itself inside the top ten, so see if he does it. This man, one of the most stylish bike riders on the planet, Hugo Freak Stallone. Oh, so stylish. Common Sal, IC Studio. Really good friend of S-Tag. They always hang out together and have fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm mean, lost sometimes. Just right there. The inside was He's got good. Full inside there. Yeah. Just a joy to watch this man, Cedric. Yeah, I think I turned my mind on that line, on opening up, because you land into a big hole. I don't think you have to go inside. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. I don't ride, but... Usually it is. <laughs> <laughs> I have my timing with me right now. The man known affectionately as Fricks Fricks. Fricks Fricks, we all know him. He was good at the two and three split time, but 1.8 off on the four, 54.9 kilometers. Off the drop then. You go Fricks alone, down the line. One six, carry that all the way to the finish on the ninth place. In the ninth place. Fricks Fricks. Dante Silva from the United States of America. Or Canyon Team Collective. Ooh, aggressive. Like I say, today is no time for resting. It's business time. It is all business here in Bike Kingdom, Lenzerheide. Dante oh, Silva. No problem. Though. Is it a flat tire? I uh, don't see. Flat tire. Flat rear tire, yeah, maybe too much business. <laughs> Too much business is no more ah. business. Yeah, and it's funny, it looked like you have no insert in there. Like, just... Yeah, so a lot of the teams, a lot of the riders will run... It's kind of like a pool noodle, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like it's a... like a mousse or something. You know, you do tomorrow, but yeah. here, like, it's like a piece of... Um... A foam liner yeah, that exactly. is inside the tire that just can ward off uh, punctures, but... Mechanics don't like that. Mechanics don't like it. They are awkward to fit. They take a while to get in there, and... That's what happens when you don't have one. Dan Slack then from the UK, teammates oh. of Jack Redding, who we saw earlier on. Aggressive, look how close is his um, helmet. Yeah, to the To stem. the handlebar, to the stand. Good he job, there's, good job, there's a chin guard on it. Yeah, he probably have some nuts in there. Yeah, Jack's an optician, not a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> some notes on there. <laughs> hey, pretty much, Contrary, look like he's fighting a lot now. Yeah, he looks like he's grappling with it a wee bit. Dan Slack, he's in touch though, he's yeah. in a second. But, but again, still, again, yeah, again. It's punishment from three to four split. A second goes by. Yeah. And two seconds on that track. It's a lot of time. Dan Slack here, yeah, elbow out, big time. Yeah, from the UK, goes deep off that last drop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Went right to the finish line. Into 11th, though. Yep. 
That will work. Definitely fight really hard. Here we go then, Ronan Dunn. Oh. One of the breakthrough acts of 2022, and a man. Amazing, amazing season. Who is just downhill racing in one man. He's Ireland in one man. Oh, landing a manual on every jump like a plane. All action, all or nothing, all at the yep. wall, Ronan Dunn. Oh, pedaling really early in the corner. He was already cranking. And he's on the green, it's bang so far. We all know that Two split tenths. four is going to be the split to tell you the truth. So this man has been a UCI World Cup podium rider before, so let's see what he does in four then. Come on, come on, come on, split four. He's in the green still, but can he carry that? 2.42, 43. Where will right. Ronan Dunn end up at the end of this one in the semi-finals? Across the line to check back the time as we wait to find it out as well. Well, we will update you as soon as we know where Ronan Dunn ended up. Roger Vieira then. Brazilian who spends his time in the UK. From Brazil. Spends his time in the UK winning bike races mainly. Ah, from the sun to really? the rain. Yeah, from the sun to very much not the sun at times. Oh, rolling that double. Not jumping, rolling. Clearly thinks there's more time in there. I don't know. Yay, He's seven. Yeah. Something happened. Oh, oh, hey. Is that rear yeah, rear, yeah, rear puncher. Rear, rear puncher, but you have definitely a little assistant that he keep, you know, he can still keep riding, but losing the grip in high speed. Cedric, we do see this, though. The amount of downhill bikes you see finish a race run with a puncture because yeah, well, of those systems that they have in the rear wheels. Yeah. All this morning, I saw a lot of problems, I tell you. Yeah. And uh, I'm not surprised we see it right now. And why is that? Is it because everyone's pushing the speed higher? Is pushing it grass rougher? Yeah. Rock, I mean, all the dirt was between those rocks. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> then all of a sudden, you will go straight into a rock. <laughs> yeah, OK. Then maybe it would be smart maybe to put maybe a little bit more pressure. Right, OK. Just a little bit. Any teams any teams listening to this now, get the track pump out. Bit more pressure. Cedric Reckon should be Bob on. Yeah, you just don't tell the rider. Here's another <laughs> pier on Baptiste this time, riding for Dorval AM, Comensal. Pretty much in touch so far. On the split three, looking good. You know, all Amoris are looking good on the bike. Yeah, it just loses 1.4 Yeah, then. that same spot. In that middle section. Yeah, it, it happened just before they go into that bike park zone. Just before that, that's where it's critical. 55 kilometers almost. I am just hearing uh, Ronan Dunn lost his timing chip oh, in the rock garden. That's why we didn't get a time ah, okay. for him. That's, that's what happened. OK. And how how do they do that? Rerun? How do you do that? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Ah, okay, I'm okay. find it out. I just try, I was thinking <laughs> up loud. Oliver's war then. Well, soon that we have to carry uh, two or three chips then. One on the helmet, one on the bike. Olivier Swar. Oh, he's in the green. And Bolivar almost the second on round on the split three. Oh, it's smelling good. He lost some time, but pretty much in contact. So That's yeah. good. Ronan, That's pretty good. Ronan Dunn, I said um, he's all action. He's all action to the point that he blew the time and chip off his own bike. So we're just waiting to see what happens with that one as Oliver Swar for FMD newly signed. Swedish national champion. Heads to the line. Fourth place. Lost some time. Ronan Dunn's up there in second place, actually, at the minute. Zwar goes into fourth. Mm -hmm. You see that rear tyre looks soft to me, Cedric. Yeah. That's kind of just what I was talking about. Ah, here we go. He's showing with his hand. He's Tell showing. The, have a flat. Have a flat. Telling the team straight away so they can. It kind of did in a smart way. But we, we saw that. We saw that. Of course yeah. we did. But I think it's today as part of the deal. It's not because uh, tires are not working. It's just because they go so fast into those rocks. I mean, yep. And as I say, those uh, the tire inserts, the the tubeless tire sealant that uh, everyone yeah. uses now, and, and they the, can keep enough pressure in a tire yes, to get you to yes. the bottom of the run. But but uh, if you put even milk in there, you add this into the thing, yeah. into that system, I think it's smart as well. Well, here we go. All eyes on the greatest of all time, Greg Minar gets his 2023 campaign 
off to a start here in the semi-finals. What can the GOAT do? Oh, Greg Mina always looks so good on the bike and for so many years proved that he's fat and he's showing right now. Los oh. Santos played three. Oh! He went off. He went off the track. He went there. off the track. Oh, flat tire for That's Greg Mina. No, he is protected. Shane. No. No, no, just flat. Oh, it looked like something was hanging there, though. You're no, right. it was a, a, a little branch or maybe oh, okay. grass. He went in the grass. Nice grass. I tell you what, Cedric Lowe, you know you're fast whenever you get your name written on your trousers. <laughs> that big. That, <laughs> that big, they're cool. Yeah, everything looked good in Greg Minard. I'd run them. I don't think you get McLaughlin on there, but Minard seems to fit. Oh, bummer. But he is protected. He is protected, yep. Yeah. So he was looking good. And to be honest, look, like split two. I did say at the start, oh, there's a tire off okay, now completely. I don't think we can um, work on that rim anymore. No, this it, is what we talked about earlier on in the broadcast. No, Santa Cruz right. Syndicate have been working with bike one, bike two as a system, so they will have an exactly the same bike set up in the pit. He'll return to the pit, drop the suspension out of it, the race bike into the second bike, and they should be good to go. Here is a man, though. That's who business. Many predict are going to light is going to light up this season. Tiwa de Perella. and he's sending it. He's not keeping anything for himself. Push a good line here on the inside. Oh, and look at the and doubling out. Two point five off. Oh, your line here. He doubled the exit. The timesheet's lighting up green. Oh, it's two point five on three. Is he going to smash the speed four? And he's doing it. Yeah, there doing we go. Doing it, Dabrilla. We, we knew it was a matter of time before people started making sense of that awkward middle split, and it's and the he ran who's a, done it. He ran that corner so good, like I say, one corner instead of making two corner in one. Dabrilla. Riding for common sound, knock off by riding addiction, De Prella. Now we're talking, now we're no, talking. We're... Oh, landing so deep here. Three seconds into the good for Thibaut De Prella on his first semi-final run. He even have time to think about shutting down his camera. Yep, some points in the bag there, maybe, as Greg Menard scoots his way back to the pit. Ah, it looked like you have a 26 on the back there. Oh, something's wrong. Troy Brosnan then for the Canyon Collective Factory team, one of the most consistent talents the sport has ever known. And you see uh, what he have uh, around his handlebar, he looked like he have a system to control the vibration or something. I missed that actually. Yeah, and you will see, you will see, I have a good eye. One six off, one seven on spin four. He's always there, you cannot get there. there. It doesn't matter where the racetrack is, what the weather is doing, what, what the country? bike is. Yeah, what country? <laughs> Troy Brosnan is always in amongst the fight. The Australian now heading down towards the line. 55 kilometers an hour, that's really fast. One of those... Uh, oh, three jump the last jump. Yeah. Three jump jumped before, like they're doing skiing. One of those uh, great racing minds, Cedric, that you just think this new semi-final system might just play to a strength. Look at the system, like uh, the, the front, uh, front tube, the top. Yeah. You see? There, yeah. going straight to the handlebar. It looked like a control, like a, a spring, a spring to control maybe vibration of the handlebar going left and oh! oh well, speaking of springs, Danny Hart going for triple, going for the triple. Oh, I love it, Danny. It's the semi. It's the semi, Danny. Oh, Get yeah. back in. No, no, no. Semi or final? I'm sending it. That's what he's telling you right now. I am Danny Hart. Oh, two seconds off on three, three. Seconds off on speed four. Danny are losing time more and more from the oh, top part of the trial. Oh, destroy that corner. I tried to be cool in front of Danny the other day. I tried yeah. to get my fist pump, and he told me we, we shake hands where I'm from. So <laughs> <laughs> we both had a good laugh about it. Heart over the line now. Three seconds yeah. behind the Prella. I was expecting a little bit better than that for Daddy. Because you always expect so much from him because he's so good. But Cedric, Thibaut de Prella, yeah. an yeah. absolute cannonball of a downhill right, racer. Oh, so Levesque many pedaling everywhere. So Levesque, a rider I really like the look of actually, but de Prella, an absolute cannonball off a racer. Yeah. Do you think that this many downhill runs in a season, that's a lot of chances to get on the island. But maybe uh, today is mature, and maybe he can, he's been training on that, of being able to do those runs, like Amory Perron was doing a couple years ago, being able to ride on the red line, <laughs> playing with the red line, not being scared about the red line. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe de Prella is in that, Maybe, mood right now. Maybe he's in the mood. 
Maybe Timo De Prella fancies cashing out the maximum points this weekend. And Dylan Le De Yes, two, one, six, one point six off for Levesque. What a great run. He stopped, you nods can see. The head, nods the head. Wow, that was wow, good. wow. Matt Walker then, the 2020 oh, yeah. overall points winner. Yeah, such a great rider. That year for him was unbelievable. Yeah. Hello, did win that title without winning a World Cup round, but then rectified that in the Leah Gang. Definitely. 2022. Walker. Oh, sending it into this wood section, hitting that berm so hard. Oh, flat tire. Yes, 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 yes. I think so. I hear the noise. Flat tire. Yeah. Another flat tire in the same area, almost at everyone yeah, else. Yeah, maybe there's one rock who's not friendly here. There is just one rock <laughs> that is not playing ball today with some of these big names. Walker, though, another protected rider. So. Yeah, but hey, oof, it's a lot of flat. It's another flat. It's a lot of mechanical problem today. Ethan Craig then sets off from the UK. GT Continental factory racing. A lot of UK rider, fast. Yeah, rides a lot with win masters in the UK. Teammate, of course. Whoa, that was good. Keeping the speed in that really hard right and left corner. So many movement here. The terrain is not flat there. Yeah, where you have to use most of it. Where, where is this rock, you think, then? Just back from there? Yeah, just uh, yeah. yeah, just after that. Yeah, yeah. Just after that. I guess it is one section really, really tricky and full of rocks. 1.6. He's the only one from split three and four who actually shaved some time. Yeah, he was... Um, How did he do? Maybe we need to ask him. One of those, those racers as well. He set a lot of... Uh, Fastest sector times as well, and races like throughout last season as well. So, could definitely get a wriggle on when he needs to. Ethan Craig down the line, then 2.2 yeah, seconds back on Deprella. I yeah. take that as a good morning. Yeah, point. yeah. But he, the most interesting, I think, he shaves some time when everyone is losing some. We see Matt Walker got to the bottom, then here he is. Oh, Remy Terry on Giant Factory Off Road team. Look at that kit. Remember the old days? Yeah. Wow, I love it. Remy Terrion style. It's, it's just so insane. Good. It's beautiful, it's fast, and such a nice person. A rider that you often think as well hasn't won oh, no. as many times. Oh, no, that's again. He should have yeah, been. I yeah, saw that's that. that rear I saw as well. When, when the bike starts to make that oh. much noise. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It is something happening in his wood section who is not well. friendly for tires. And this is where the semi-final format is intriguing because what do you do? Ah, I'm, I'm not happy. Yeah, Cedric's really, he's visibly angered beside me here at the minute. Just, oh. It's just so hard, you train all year and you have a flat. That's that. So we are just here and now as well. Menard did leave the course, which would be a DSQ. Yeah, okay. But he is, is protected, protected. His protected okay, status yeah. will take him into yeah. the final. Oh, nice braking here. He basically keep the bike in control and that was really nice when everyone is Back wheel swinging left and right. Dakota Norton. Yeah. Basically, the guy who put in threat, his own teammate, and put him back into the game, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely great rider. Two seconds today on speed three and see what his fourth field is. Oh, yeah, and it's time to. Dakota Norton then. But he still have his tire on. Mercifully. Yeah. Dakota, such a threat sometime when he's oh. on the A game. There's, he's just one of those riders that sometimes he wakes up in the morning. Today's the day. Yeah, today's the day. <laughs> Down over the line there, Norton, four seconds back. Still with air in his tires, though, crucially. Yeah, eighth place. On another one of those prototype intense factory racing bikes. Oh. Lucas Shaw then, Canyon Collective factory team. One of my favorite riders from America. He's just a great rider to watch. Yeah, and a lovely, great. lovely dude as well. Technically, everything. He's 1.5 and split three out. But looking good, not the inside line. One of the most relaxed people you'll ever meet. Yep. So chill. Taking different line, not taking the inside, like I said earlier, on the, you know, like the, the Prilla did. Yep. Oh, He's running the corner really smooth. Oh, nice one-piece corner instead of two corner in one. Minimal inputs. Right 
2.3. Luca Shaw down the line in 2.8 back. Hey, Evo it's, it's, yeah, it's, um, he have more in this bucket for yeah, yeah. sure. But interesting line. The big names are coming thick and fast now. Laurie Greenland for the Santa Cruz Syndicate on track. All action. The surfer look into a mountain biker body. Lightning McQueen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, love the style. Smaller uh, body, like, no, I stole a look at that for sure. He stands in the middle of the bike yes. and just attacks it, doesn't just he? Just attack the bike really hard, and he's in great. He's looking good. One UCI World Cup win to his name back in Val de Sole oh, 2019. Hot. He's, he's sending it. 1.2 speed four for Laurie Greenland. Laurie Greenland. Greenland is from Bristol in the UK. He's on the charge. He has what it takes to beat today. Crosses the line. Greenland goes fastest now. Nice Laurie one. Greenland goes under the hot seat and Aye. replaces Thibaut de Prella. And he don't look so happy then. Uh, it's business time. And we're getting towards the sharp end of this semi-final session. And I'd say uh, the smile underneath that fox helmet will be pretty sizable from Laurie Greenland. Yep. He, he, you know he made some mistake, I guess. Look at the replay. Look, Look at, at that, that slow-mo. Oh, he's pedaling in the air. Of course he is. Of course oh he God. is. Yeah, we don't want to lose time. We have business to take care of today. Look at that style. Aggressive. He's pointing when he wants to land. Carry speed, boom, boom. You see, bike not, working not, beautifully. Not, yeah, not going deep into the trail. Inside there, really supple. And then watch this. Huh. Da, 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 da. Just, just gets the bike back oh, on the ground within so millimeters precise. of where he needed to. Precise. That's oh. what I'm talking about today. It's all about precision. It is great to be back at a downhill World Cup again. Laurie Green and shakes the head. I feel like you find a great team for himself. Yeah, he fits in there. He's found yeah. a family, hasn't yep. he? Yep. There we go then. Laurie Green in 1.3 seconds faster. This is how it stands at the minute. The Prella just in second place. Levesque third. Atwell back in 11th. Now we get to the bottom of this. Remember, we're looking for our top 30 fastest through. So let's find out who is on the bubble. Jack Redding's currently in. We've still got some protected riders to go though. Yeah. So they may, may well knock these guys down. Yeah, there's slice two in, like Minar so far. And, um, and uh, uh, yeah, Minar is uh, the man really yeah. feeling the benefit of that protected status after that. Um, oh, just crossing in front of our booth. That Dakota that. Norton's just pedaled up the hill in front of our booth. Spinning, spinning. you know, Getting when you stay moving. so long, you know, you know, doing squats on the bike, yeah. you want to go spin to get the acid lactate out. I think I just want to go back and sit in the van and cry for a bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> Dakota Norton's gone for a pedal anyway. Just put my hands into a bucket of ice. <laughs> like boxers do. Yeah, those guys are top, they're professional, yeah. they train so hard, yeah. and I saw them this winter, I couldn't believe my eyes. I felt tired just to, to look at them. I didn't know we could put so many weights into one bar doing squats. How far has the physical side of it come, Cedric, since you're yeah, Today it's 80%, and the rest is riding, I guess. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm off, but I see those guys like it is the time for everything, I guess. So like winter, a lot of uh, hot training and a lot of kilometers on the road bike, you know, to get the engine running. And after they go to uh, specifics, I guess. Well, you're not seeing double. Jackson Goldstone is on track now. Easily mistaken for Laurie Greenland and that Red Bull lid and the Santa Cruz Syndicate colors. But the young Canadian talent up for his first year in elite this season. He wasn't supposed to race. He wasn't supposed to race. He's a... Um, how do you call him? Um, appendic append appendicitis, uh, yeah. Appendicitis, yeah. But he's here today, and he's looking good. To paraphrase Jeff Goldblum, life finds a way. Pretty much in contact, in split one. First year in elite, like you say. How oh, much pressure in that, especially when the team with Greg Minow and Laurie Greenland oh, land really close to that rock. Sorry, oh, inside me. there. Oh, Colston. Full speed, tacking. So, my oh. mistake, we're looking for top 30 plus protected riders. So, so those guys 45, on the bubble. 45, 47, K48 entering that, that rat. Can you imagine how oh. quick that rat came in? Oh, that's Jackson Colston. On the move oh. here. Pretty much relaxed there. As oh, a stand up. As a first year elite, he is not a protected rider, so he does, as fast as this looks, need to get a good banker in here. You look exactly what 
I was looking. You look at his back wheel, because he drift, he was thinking yeah. they had the flat, but it's not. All eyes on Jackson Goldstone. Oh, double tap here was good. Inside line here. Oh, you see the way he finished the corner and he just like released everything like a little bit up to get the suspension back into action. Throws the back end out. 1.6 on split three. I can't believe it looked like he's dancing on the bike. Inside line. Double. Oh. That was nice. 1.6 off. Oh, really hard crank outside that corner. 1.6 on split three. Is he going to manage? 1-3. Oh. He saved some time a little bit, not as much. But he's one of the few today shaving time on split four. That's a good run, for sure, especially Boston. where he's coming from with the... Uh, oh. Pressing the speed up towards 60 kilometers an hour down the line. Will this be a new fastest time? Jackson Goldstone crosses the line, just not 0.9 seconds. Behind Greenland, the teammate. The most important, he shaved time at the bottom. One of the only few. One of the few. One of the few. It is time to gain at the bottom if you have an energy left. Bernard the Carr then from Pivot Factory Racing on course now on another one of those new prototype pivots. He can do everything, basically, this guy, right? Manager, racer, everything. Tagging here. Oh, you see, he, had, he did two crank in the air, maybe to place one gear in. We are joining the live drone for the first time today, then. Live shots of Bernard Kerr on course now. Oh, nice exit speed here, two crank. Bernard was really hard breaking, yeah, really hard breaking here. Yeah, get that inside, inside. Responsible for 16 people on the team these days. So <laughs> quite racing. a busy man. He said that the uh, the racing is the bit he actually enjoys these days. Pretty dark in those woods, you can see, but the crowd is there already. Ooh, upper line here. When everyone was sticking inside so far, two seconds off on split three. Nice. Oh, nice control on the braking here. You see the bike is squatting a lot when he's hitting that rear brake. That's what you want. Oh, really active here on those uh, terrain. It's not really friendly. It's moving a lot here. Like a lot of deep compression. You need to absorb with your suspension, legs and arms. Everything is counting today. 2.7 on split four for Bernacker. Tagging there. Need to finish that. Be careful in that corner. We saw some trouble happen. Bernard Carr then down the line. 3.2 seconds back on that new prototype pivot. 3.2 off. He's six for the moment. Hey, not too bad for a busy man, eh? Yeah, no. I see the riders. Clearly still enjoying it. Charlie Hatton, then the man who did so well in qualifying yesterday. For the Continental Atherton team. Yeah, Continental Atherton really pushing hard. Are you say Atherton or Atherton? I think whatever way you sign sounds good. Uh, Atherton? <laughs> <laughs> busy family as well, huh? Yeah, busy family as well. Charlie oh, Hatton. It cut short on that corner. He didn't. He didn't wait for the end of that corner he's been with him for some time now has happened see the bike is squatting really well on this really hard braking 3d additive technology designed to uh, produce that bike 1.9 off and split two that's where the race is happening three and four so far Looking smooth here, but is it fast enough? Really good. He did a mix oh. of two lines. He didn't take it take outside and he cut it inside. 2.9. Three seconds almost on split three. Oh, you see now it's getting deep and the holes are getting deeper. Nice one. Charlie there. Hatton then attacking. Nicely done there. Inside line, oh, a lot of braking there, forehand of braking here. Told me after his last practice run this morning, the track was running perfectly, and it certainly looks like it. 3.8. 3.8 back, though. Yeah, lost a lot of time in that section. We saw, like, he was braking really late and hard. Hatton is protected, though. 
Yep. So he's looking to get a marker in here, a bit of a sighter, and as many points as he can grab. Looking really comfortable though on the bike. Oh, land really deep there. So deep off yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Bruni has oh, to record that. Big old stoppy to finish as well. Land so far. Yeah, you don't want to hit those brakes on the last corner. I mean, you've been pedaling all the way down and trying yeah. to get speed. You don't want to brake on the last jump, really. Finn Isles then. Prototype too, eh? For specialized gravity. Another bike wearing one of those telltale neoprene black coverings over stuff that they want to keep secret. Oh, he's, oh, no way. He took his hand off the handlebar to fix his helmet. Something was happening. He just adjusted something there, didn't what, he? Did he have a bee or like something, <laughs> an animal? I don't know. But Whoa, that, that's look weird. How fast Isles is through there. He have time to take his hand off yeah. the handlebar. And there's stuff going on those handlebars as well. Different uh, compression settings. Well, so sooner we see people like tricking the compression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's pretty much in touch on split two, too. Finale's right in amongst it at the start of this one. Oh, really hard worker as well. They work so hard with the team with Kevin Jolly's mechanic. I was yesterday looking at what he was doing. Pretty much oh. in touch. Oh, beautiful whip. Oh, he opened the line a little bit more than everyone else. Oh, beautiful, Ooh. beautiful. Ben Isles, really, you feel like he's really opening this up. Wow. This looks like a race run, race run. Oh, race run, and look at much work the bike is doing under wow. his legs. Sometimes it is safer, though, Cedric, to go maximum attack everywhere. He wants some points, and it's time to get them. Ben Isles, of course, one in Monsignan. Oh, split four. Last Whoa. season. He carried the same all the way to split four, then pretty much in touch. If he could just link this bottom section together, Finn Isles could be riding his way into the hot seat and a handful of points here. Isles rounds that left-hander through this tricky flat right off the drop. As jump. Isles then crosses the line, second place. 0.7 behind Greenland, so Laurie Greenland's time holding up well. It is a good run. It is a good run. So we are. Oh, whoa. Danger, danger. Be careful. And here's his teammate, Jordan Williams, for specialized gravity. Newly up into elites after a stellar junior season where he really pushed Jackson Goldston. The two of them really sort of egged each other on throughout the last year. And now, maybe less in the light. Now the Englishman Goldstone. gets yeah. his chance to crack on at the front of the elite field. Oh, he's looking fast. From he's the pretty much in touch. Stands up, take a second. Different bike for him. Yeah, not on one of those prototypes, no. but it is a custom, uh, custom size, longer, okay. longer version of the demo. Good to know. Frame set that he is on. Losing a little bit of time on split two, but pretty much in touch. You know, when you're around the second and one, two, you're still able to do good and time to hit. Crank just hard. 18 years old, so 18, yeah. Don't even remember when I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, different line here was uh, a little bit. He really took the race yeah. to Jackson Goldstone all last season and came away with some big, big results. And Same line here, though. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yep. Yeah, but that's where your troublesome rock is up in there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, cranking hard with some perfect gearing for Williams. Robert Jordan Williams. 1.9 back now. Yep, losing time on the same than a lot of people so far. Only few people, like I said, are be able to shave some time on the split. So Williams as another first-year elite, not protected, but this looks like it should be enough to get yeah. him into the big show. Crosses the line. Two seconds behind Laurie Greenland with a 244. I think that will do just fine. Yes. And now. Pressure on that run, Cedric. Exactly. And now they're going to take those cameras and study what happened. Yeah. That's why they have these cameras, you know? Like, they're going Here to we sit go. Down. Benny the Jet, Benoit Coulange for Dorval AM Comensal. A man who you just feel, Cedric, is due a win on the big stage at some oh, stage soon. Yes, he's, he's a contender for sure. And I love the way he's using his body oh, so much more than a lot of people. Long arms, long legs, and they are not... He's, he's using them. He's unique, isn't he? The unique shape, the style on the bike. On the bike. Yep. Unique style, round back. 
Always pushing hard. Yeah, look Maximum at that. Everywhere. Split two, he's in the green. He's in the screen. He's in the green by nearly a second, so it's working all right so far for Coulange. You have a good margin entering those uh, splits where well, maybe a little bit more difficult. I think we're, we're we're visibly seeing a bit more body English now, aren't we? We're visibly seeing yeah. people pushing on a bit harder. Uh, he's still, still in green on speed three. That's now where it's important. So we're looking for the top 30 here, plus any protected rider. Oh, even the camera cannot keep up, he's flying there. We aren't inside oh, that top whoa, 30. Whoa, 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 whoa. How can you save that? Benoit. He barely land and jump again, steady, sideways. Steady away, big man. That was heart and the mouth stuff from Benoit Coulange. But he's right in touch with Greenland as a result. Yeah, look at that. He lost some time on split four, but still in the green. Enough so far. Benoit Coulange doesn't have a slower setting than this. Oh, he's, he's Maximum attack, nearly 55 kilometers an hour. Only one mode. The only one mode. Sand mode. <laughs> Down the line then, what can he do? Oh. Benoit Coulon! Oh, wow. Second place, just three tens behind Greenland now. Last some time at the bottom, but it's definitely acceptable. Remember, we're looking for the top 30, plus any protected riders who aren't in that. But some of these big names deciding that attack is the best form of defence, and now... What about this guy? The master begins his 2023 season. Lloyd Bruni, we join him live. A world champion in the full white kit of the world champion with the rainbow stripes is 145 beats per minute Cedric mine would be slightly yeah. higher than that they're, they're, they're running the whoop bracelet like to see a spin like look 146 that's so good to see that because cool we, we don't realize yeah we don't realize that we I, saw it in Nova Mesto with the cross-country riders actually and it was it was right up at the okay that was warm up the 180s yeah I was warm up on split one and now he's start to crank kick look how controlled Bruni is if you're joining downhill mountain bike racing for the first time Lloyd Bruni is just the master wow. of precision he's just telling the bike what to do it's not the bike who tell him we're going there no you are going there look at that it, it looks like he's not even fighting Bruni Everything in control. I hesitate to say it for the commentator's curse, but... Whoa! He Whoa! tripled that! He tripled he tripled that! that. Like Bruni! Oh, Showing the marks time. done. Do you want to show people where that line is? Yeah, In the semi-final? Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? That's the first time compared to last year. He's coming totally fresh and not have an injury. Then it's business for Loic Bruni 1.1. Those incredible, those incredible scenes in Leger, the world champs last season. Loic Bruni starts his run down to the line, and everyone take note. Bruni wow. is here to do a job of work in 2023. Nearly a second faster than wow. Greenland for Bruni. We're talking. You see, it is sometimes people. You look at them in the pit and you look at their eyes. And you're like, okay, he means business. Well, speaking of somebody who means business, someone that you know very well, Angel Suarez Alonso on track. Wow, triple oh. that! Are you? Are you? Are you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the pilot together. I don't know if that worked for him, Cedric. He went big. Yep. He is a man who's been around the scene for a while and another another rider who's deserving of a big result heading his way soon. Different line here. Inside. Third and quality yesterday. Suarez he Alonso. Big. He's so hungry. He Fancies a bit of this one. 37 kilometers almost to five. But what a, a run we have just seen laid down by the world champ Lloyd Bruni. Losing time, three seconds off. Suarez Alonso yeah. riding that Uno bike. Yes, first year on the bike from Uno. Wow, destroyed that corner. Look at the style. And Cedric, you've seen him training at home oh. in Andorra, haven't you? Yeah, and I saw stuff I've never seen before. He was doing practice run like he was racing. He means like trainer at the top, come down at the start, recovery at the bottom, and do another run with the spinning, everything, the routine. Just to make sure so just race runs, that. just yeah. race runs, race, race runs, race, race runs. Race so he was on common style 100 percent for a yeah. while. A big crash at Worlds last year. Going that fast, our camera's struggling to keep up with him. Yeah. Fires off. 
It's going to be disappointing. Five seconds off, yep. He is protected though. Yeah, but I don't know what happened. Come on, Paella. Cedric was down the bookmakers earlier on this morning, putting a few Swiss francs on this man to do the business. <laughs> Five seconds back now. He needs to regroup right now. He needs to go back to the truck, look at the camera, and go for the final run. How oh, important it is to be able, you know, to reset to battle, like I said, go to the pit, eat, and just be like, okay, now it's one run. Loris Vergier from France. Loris Vergier, then the fastest moustache in downhill mountain bike racing. <laughs> I love that moustache. It probably took him two years to have a, such a beautiful moustache. Outside line here, oh. buddy him up outside. I Just. said this at Worlds last year, but he really is a bike racer's bike racer, isn't he? Just oh, technically yeah. so good. And he has so much in the tank that he probably don't even know yet. Yeah, yeah, huge, huge talent. Loris Berge for Trek Factory Racing. The 26-year-old, seven World Cup wins to his name. Feels like he's finally finding that elite level home at Trek. Basically, like brothers of Bruni, always hang out together since they're a kid. Yeah, they're, on, they're on the Lapierre team for a long time together yes, as well. That inside oh, line. Look at that. They're flying. Look at the speed Berger carries oh, through there. Really up high. Really up high compared to everyone. One is point it paying? 1.1. Yeah, is it going to pay that line though? Oh, we're entering fast there. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, just oh. lifted the bike up over that slightly, made a little double where there wasn't one, but it worked for him. Two different styles with Bruni, one a little bit more strong, and the other one just dancing with his bike. Bruni up everywhere. You can watch Lars oh, Vergier ride windy. a race run all day long. Oh, it looks so smooth too, but it's not paying so far. One second off, but I mean, talking Vergier. about Bruni as well. Huh? Goes deep. 56 kilometers an hour. Oh, sharp corner here. Oh, maybe oh. too early in, too early in. Oh. Lands deep as well. Vergier crosses the line just four times. Look at that. He saved three. so much time. It's only France 1, 2, 3. Here Whoa. in Lenzer Heide, Bruni smiles. That was a good yeah. one. He knows it. I can spell the baguette and the croissant. There we go. No, it's a bike race. <laughs> Lars Vergier is here with his A game. This man then. The fastest qualifier from yesterday, Andreas Cole for Continental Afford and the reigning European champion. So fast yesterday and so composed. The two are like really quiet. Wow. Fourth, fourth in the overall last season for Cole, the Austrian. Austria, a nation that really hasn't had as many good top flight downhillers as it should have done. And Cole, one man rectifying that. He's oh, ahead. Valley Hall, he's up. He's a second up at the second split. Did you see that braking? It yeah. just landed and brake easily. So controlled, the bike was not pushing me out. Oh, beautiful. Andreas Cole fancies a slice of this today. Oh, the bike is working great. He's clearly, he's read Loic Bruni's homework. Whoa. Give it a race run in semis and see where you end up. He's lost eight tenths, but he's still green. Have you seen Hill all the way down? Just to his like toes were the bike. Yeah, the toes. His toes were touching his shin. <laughs> his knee, I was thinking his knee almost. Yeah. So much flex, look at his feet. Andreas Cole is wow. trucking here in Lenzerheide. Oh, he must be tired. His calf at the bottom must be really tight. Big physical rider. Oh. Oh, he lost some time there. I'd love to see a camera on Lloyd Bruni oh, now. Oh, 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 did it? You see, he tried to crank and nothing was happening. As he comes up over the bridge, lands perfectly. Just this tricky flat corner to go. Flat, yeah. Let's yeah. see, is it going to be enough to, to get ahead of Lloyd Bruni in the semi final? Andreas Cole goes deep. He's just one. And he has no chain. No, no chain. That's what I saw. He tried to crank out the corner. And yeah, easy, easy. Look, look, look. Well, yeah. wow. well now. That a bit of anger goes a long yeah. way in downhill racing. Cole, statement yeah. of intent there. But let's have a look at Loic Bruni's fastest semi final run. Oh, that was good. All in the inside, breaking really late. And oh, look at those cranks. That's not for look, just look. Tight. So Bruni, well, we always knew there were going to be shots fired in this one. Lloyd Bruni has set down a marker, but the big question mark that hands over this first ever semi-final session is, 
what would have happened if Andreas Kolb's chain had stayed on? We will get confirmation of those results for you shortly. But the Frenchman has started his campaign exactly, exactly as he would have wanted to. So here we go, Bruni, Kolb, Verge, Greenland, Coulange, Isles, Goldstone, Deprella, Williams, Levesque are your top 10. Brosnan, Kerr, Craig, Shaw, Suarez, Alonso, Stevens, McNabb right up there in 16th, Danny Hart, Atwell, Zwar, Chapelet, Vernon, McDonald, Vidal, Hartenstern, Frickstallon, and Tuto Ariki Penny rounds out the top 30. Baptiste Pierron, Dan Slack, just missing out. Greg Menard will join that top 30 as a protected rider. Amory Pierron then did not start. Well, thank you all for tuning in for the first ever downhill semi finals here from Lenzer Haida in the Lenzer Haida Bike Kingdom. Join us later on this afternoon as we go racing for the first UCI Mountain Bike Downhill World Cup Finals session. It's good to say that here from Lenzerheide in Switzerland. Don't miss a second. We will see you then.